All right, guys. Well, I honestly do not know. I do not know here on Wednesday, June 28th, 2023, how much of this, you know, I'm trying to deceive myself that this is, you know, rain, this uh, fog and low-lying rain clouds. But I think that it is another lovely summer day in hell here in uh, the end times. It is 63 degrees. It is 63 degrees at 1.20 in the afternoon. They're saying we're supposed to make it to a scorching 68 degrees here in the lovely shithole town of Candor, New York. Uh, I do not think we're going to see 65 degrees, but uh, you know, how about that for a photo of the end times, a snapshot of the end times, a line of dead trees against a wildfire blackened sky. This one ash tree there in the middle, he is still hanging on. I don't know how that dude is still hanging on, but uh, here is to the former ash trees of New York being joined by however many other kinds of trees in New York and all over the goddamn planet. You know, we're so fucked. Fucking trees are fucked. Uh, this is just, look at this shit. Uh, fog and low-lying clouds in my ass. Here's the, all of the, uh, the red, white, and blue, the old glory getting ready for the 4th of July in the shithole town of Candor, New York. The, uh, red, white, and blue flapping in the wildfire smoke under the fucking power lines and the dead trees. Damn, happy birthday, America. You deserve every fucking thing you get. So anyway, guys, uh, I don't know which way this... Okay, let me get my camera back so we can take in the big picture of how fucked we are. So, uh, anyway, so I woke up this morning. Believe it or not, I did, uh, horribly enough, I woke up again this morning. I did not die in my sleep peacefully last night. So once again, I woke up to face another day of a mountain of laundry. Just finished doing $20 worth of laundry. Uh, now we're going to take the ridge line instead of the valley. We're going to see what this looks like from uh, the ridge top. Uh, so anyway, I got up this morning. As I always do, I go on and check my, uh, you know, I love to check in with the comments on my two channels, and I honestly do not remember whether this was a comment from someone I'd never heard of. I don't, I don't know if it was on Humpty Dumpty Tribe or Collapse Chronicles, but anyway, the person leaving the comment said I was based, B-A-S-E-D, based. And I remember, uh, you know, after that uh, soft white underbelly interview uh, with that old doomer over there, all of the comments that I got back in the comments that I was based, I mentioned in that interview, I called myself red-pilled. A lot of people said you're not red-pilled, you're black-pilled. I'm not 100% sure what that means. Probably am black-pilled. 
Uh, but then a lot of people said, dude, you're not red-pilled, you're based. And then, you know, all of these clueless fucking morons calling me a narcissist because I had a person asking me to give my opinion on the state of the planet, why I was a doomer. So I did exactly what the uh, interviewer, Mark, asked me to do in the interview. Uh, and I stated my opinion on... Uh, that, why this planet is so fucked and the obvious answer because we're humans and all of these people calling me a narcissist a narcissist because I stated an opinion now I did state my opinion firmly uh, and unequivocally and 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 people also you know about the narcissism comment that the dude's not a narcissist, he is just based. And so I, you know, I didn't know if I was being insulted or not, so I, I just assumed that I was being insulted by clueless fucking morons who don't understand what the problem is on this planet, which is humans. And the solution to the problem is to get the humans off the fucking planet uh, the sooner the better. Uh, so what, you know, I was born in 1959 and was a young man in the 1980s when crack cocaine was big. And I always thought based meant that you were uh, hooked on crack cocaine, that your, that your brain was fried on crack cro cocaine is uh, if anybody had asked me what based meant that would have been my educated guess is so I just thought these people uh, were saying if you state an opinion uh, uh, you know if you state a particularly an unpopular opinion uh, forcibly that your, you know, your brain has been rotted on crack cocaine, or if you consider yourself to be red-pilled because you understand how fucked uh, humans are and how we've been sold this bill of goods, uh, that your brain is fried on crack cocaine or and probably now fentanyl or trank or whatever so I just tossed this off I probably had 500 people in the comments saying I was based and I thought they were saying my brain was fried on crack cocaine but anyway the I can't even remember the rant that this comment was left on this morning but there was nothing in the rant you know what I'm saying that uh, I, I thought calling me based was a little bit uh, overdoing it. So I, uh, so we're coming into the view. This is a beautiful view looking northwest towards Canada. We should be seeing several ridges. This is the beautiful sunset view in the, in the evening. So anyway, I thought, uh, you know, that I, I, all this time that I was being vaguely insulted by clueless fucking morons. And so I said, you know, maybe you don't understand what based means. And so I went on and looked it up, and apparently what based means, now it used to be. Uh, exactly what I thought it meant, but I guess some rapper, I can't remember, I don't know anything about rappers, I never thought I would thank a rapper, just can't remember this rapper's name, but apparently this rapper uh, has pretty much single-handedly changed the definition from having your brain fried on crack cocaine to Telling it like it is, you know, not being afraid 
to get out there and state an unpopular opinion. What was his term with swagger? To state an unpopular opinion with swagger. Uh, otherwise known uh, <clears throat> as, uh, y y you know, like some people would think you're a narcissist if you state an unpopular opinion with swagger. And I said, hell yeah, I am based. I did not know that all of those people leaving those comments were complimenting me that I was based uh, for saying that humans are the problem on this planet and the obvious solution to the problem of humans is to make the planet a uh, human exclusion zone. So then I get all revved and I say, hell yeah, I'm based, I am unapologetically uh, and proudly based. I wear my basedness uh, like a badge of honor. Uh, I give myself the base badge of honor. And uh, so then, of course, so I'm all revved up and I, uh, I didn't have a spoon with me in the tiny house where I slept. So I just kind of had to guess on how much coffee to put in the French press. I think I went a little overboard. So I got totally fucking jacked up on this uh, strong cup of coffee and uh, learned that I am based and uh, was thrilled to uh, say guilty as charged. And so then I started, uh, you know, breaking into the mainstream media and reading these articles that folks have sent me and and all of this and uh, I thought what were what were some of them uh, let's see there was there was this article uh, well it's actually from medium.com this fellow from Sri Lanka who calls himself Indica I uh, I have a lot of respect for Indy Kai. I enjoy his writings. He's a doomer. Uh, and maybe I will even get around to interviewing the man someday. But he was doing an article trying to wonder why his friend got a vasectomy. Why did my buddy make the voluntary choice to get a vasectomy? So Indy Kai, uh, has two children. I'm glad to say at least he stopped it too. So he was just trying to figure out as a breeder who did not opt to get a vasectomy why his buddy got a vasectomy. And so he went through his various reasons why someone might get a vasectomy and although he could never, I guess, understand why any man would voluntarily get a vasectomy, and my response to uh, Indica, now that I'm proud of being based, and, and I don't give a flying fuck uh, who I insult, uh, and I, I mean, I don't give a flying fuck uh, who I insult. I need to look up some Don Juan quotes about uh, being offended, people who walk around spending their life being offended by what other people think uh, either about them or other people who have a different opinion of them uh, being offended like it's supposed to be the whole world's fucking job not to offend anybody. Uh, fuck that noise. Uh, so anyway, my comment to Indica, which I don't consider an offensive comment at all, I said, you know, something to the effect of, well, I don't know why your friend made the decision to get a vasectomy, but it could have something to do with the reasons I got a vasectomy. 
at age 22 before oh yeah he called in this article he called children part of the quote public good public good and I thanked uh, Indica for uh, giving my my laugh of the day suggesting children were part of the public good and I said well my uh, so I got a vasectomy at age 22, you know, before I let any future members of the public good out of the bag. And it was the single best decision, bar none, bar none, that I have ever made for myself. And just coincidentally in the bargain, it also was the very best decision I, I ever made for any of my unborn children who will forever remain my unborn children. It was the best decision I ever made for the public good. And of course, most importantly, it was the single best decision I uh, ever made for this planet. I have exactly zero regrets, and I cheered on his buddy for making the decision to get himself sterilized. So then uh, I, Brother Aaron sends me this thing from uh, Florida about all of these new laws being passed and, and it was hilarious because I guess if I'm reading this correctly that starting July 1st it, it is basically illegal I guess particularly for teachers or maybe for anyone to argue with somebody when you know when some dude uh, uh, calling himself a woman or some woman calling herself a man and all of these pronouns that they choose for themselves, which I 100% defend anybody to label themselves whatever fucking pronoun uh, they want to. It's a free country, but I guess it's now going to be illegal. And I, I can't believe that Ron DeSantis let this pass. I illegal to argue with someone uh, ab about their pronouns. Uh, there was an article that I did not read in medium.com about, uh, this is the, uh, juvenile, uh, prison, the juvenile delinquent prison. Uh, I'm probably being recorded, recording it, uh, wildfire smoke over juvenile delinquent prison. So, uh... This article in medium.com, which will never be read by me, is you know talking about their problem with the tranny community. You know, uh, Vegematic uh, recently, you know, when Sandy was interviewing, saying he doesn't understand the kerfuffle uh, about these uh, these trannies, and I have two major complaints about trannies. And that is, uh, they can call themselves whatever the fuck they want to. Uh, it is a free country, but do not, they do not have the right to change the English language because they don't want to be offended. It is not the 99% of us who are not trannies. It, it, it is not our responsibility to change the laws of the English language so we don't offend you. So there you go. Was that woke enough? Uh, and, and then I guess it's also now, as I said to Aaron, you know, this is kind of a mismatch, I guess also in Florida starting on Saturday, it is blatantly illegal for someone uh, you, you know, a man uh, who has or has not cut his dick off 
uh, calling himself a woman to use the women's restroom or a woman who cuts her tits off and calls herself a man to use the men's restroom, uh, it will be illegal in Florida to use the, uh, the restroom uh, different than the genitalia you had when you were born. I 100% support this. 100% support it. Okay? Uh, I, and, and I don't even have a daughter. But uh, it, 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 if I did have a fucking daughter or a granddaughter and, and uh, I knew that some fucking dude uh, just decided that, that he could uh, call himself a, uh, a, a, a woman, a, a her, she, and uh, just uh, use the same bathroom as my daughter. Uh, I would be pretty fucking pissed off about it. It's fucking bullshit. Fucking bullshit. Uh, good for you, Ron DeSantis. Hallelujah, brother. Uh, and I don't know whether Florida made, made or has made a law similar to the bathroom about, uh, you know, these goddamn athletes, especially these fucking dudes uh, calling themselves women. Uh, and not only the locker room issue, uh, it's absolute unadulterated fucking horseshit. Even if the dude has cut his dick and his balls off, which is probably the case in about 2% uh, of these fucking uh, tranny athletes uh, calling themselves women. It's fucking bullshit. And if Florida doesn't have a law against it, uh, they should. Uh, and and there, there should goddamn be a fucking law against it. Fucking trannies. You're, you're a fucking dude. You were born with a fucking dick. You're a dude. Okay? Stay out of girls' bathrooms. Stay off of fucking girls' teams. And don't expect me to call you some fucking pronoun you're not. Uh, anyway, was that based enough for you? I'm calling it like it fucking is. Uh, these goddamn trannies wondering what the fucking kerfuffle is. Uh, and so then, uh, to uh, change course, and then I just glanced at this latest thing uh, 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 about body image and fat shaming and all of this. And someone just left a comment a couple of days ago about the rant I did on uh, fat mermaids uh, talking about how young women uh, being wanting to be mermaids is a product of the culture. And I, and I don't uh, completely disagree with that. I was just expanding on it that, a, you know, some fat-ass tub of lard uh, looking a hell of a lot more like a fucking tuna fish uh, than a mermaid, uh, you know, going out, to, trying out to be a fucking mermaid. It, it, it is, it, 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 you're, you're damn straight, it's a product of it, this culture. We're a fucking culture that uh, we take whatever the fuck we want. Uh, we, we stuff our fat, clueless fucking faces with whatever we want, like pigs uh, fucking slopping at the trough. Uh, we expect everybody else to keep our fucking mouth shut uh, uh, about it uh, and not offend us for being uh, fat-ass, pig, clueless fucking morons. Uh, there needs to be more fucking fat shaming uh, on, on this planet, uh, not less of it. Uh, these, these fucking fat people uh, need to go back and uh, look at a few Don Juan quotes about fat people, you know, calling 
correctly calling Carlos Castaneda fat. Uh, Castaneda was a little tub of lard, uh, is, is what he was. Uh, and Don Juan had no fucking problem calling him uh, goddamn uh, it's, what was this? it was the perfect adjective Don Juan was just he said overweight people are just so can someone fill in that blank what that adjective was because it was such the perfect adjective that Carlos Castaneda used to describe himself uh, uh, you know I was just in the goddamn rest uh, going in there I go in there and get a turkey wrap. I got a, you know, a white meat turkey wrap wrapped in a uh, whole wheat tortilla uh, and water to drink. This fat ass fucker sitting there at the counter stuffing his, I mean, just shoveling. I don't know what the fuck uh, was hidden under all of this fucking sausage gravy uh, all over the thing. And, and he had a fucking big ass piece of coconut cream pie uh, sitting next to that. It, it, he was swilling it all down uh, with some fucking soft drink. It, it was fucking 11.20 in the goddamn morning. First bite of food I'd had in my mouth was a goddamn turkey wrap. And I guarantee you that that motherfucker uh, did not leave, uh, had not made it to 11.20 without shoveling that, that shit in his fucking fat face. Uh, all, all of this shit about our fucking culture. You know, my goddamn pants keep falling off uh, off of me. I've probably lost, just simply because I've been working so goddamn hard, I've probably lost between 5 and 10 pounds uh, in, in the past month. Uh, these goddamn, uh, my 32-inch jeans that fit snugly when I bought them, uh, a month ago or falling uh, or falling down my hips I'm a 63 year old man with my 32 inch jeans uh, falling off my fucking uh, skinny ass because I'm out there working fucking 10 hours a day sweating like a fucking pig you know not spending my entire fucking day sitting on my fat fucking ass watching fucking YouTube videos or whatever people do with their fucking lives stuffing all of this shit in their goddamn mouths wonder why we're a nation of fucking pigs at the trough and uh... let's see one more one more uh, while I'm at it. So then I go over there and, and see the, the latest uh, story about Costa Rica. About fucking Costa Rica being the poster child of environmental stewardship on the planet. Uh, they were showing these uh, time-lapse photographs between uh, starting in 1987 and ending, I think, in 2020, but showing over like a 30-year period uh, how Costa Rica was reforesting, was bringing back its, uh, its rainforest. All of this where I'm driving through has been logged over, by the way. You know, bugs in a jar farm. What used to all, everything you're looking at here, I'm pretty sure used to be bare hillsides. Uh, so anyway, they were showing th these uh, time lapse uh, photos how uh, Costa Rica is bucking the trend on tropical deforestation while uh, tropical deforestation continues to go through the fucking roof like it did last year that report is just in that uh, how the tropical deforestation all of the deforestation rates not just tropical going through the fucking roof because there's too many fucking people on this goddamn planet is the reason deforestation is going through the fucking roof 
proof, just in case you didn't know. Uh, but, you know, claiming that Costa Rica, and, and they're showing these uh, time-lapse photos uh, to prove it. And uh, all of these fucking little uh, limp dick lefty greeny uh, mainstream environmentalists leaving these comments. Yeah, look at Costa Rica. And, you know, kissing fucking Costa Rica's ass. I lived down in fucking Costa Rica for three fucking years. And, and, you know, my, my comment uh, to that fucking uh, load of fucking horse shit is, uh, you know, guys don't believe one fucking word uh, of this lefty, greeny, uh, unadulterated horseshit. Well, of course, I couldn't word it quite that way, but I made it plainly obvious. I said, I would like to know uh, how much of this, quote, new green area you've seen in the last 30 years in Costa Rica uh, you can chalk up to uh, oil palm that you can chalk up to eucalyptus that you can chalk up to bananas that you can chalk up to sugar cane uh, and whatever else uh, you know invasive uh, domesticated uh, trees brought into uh, you know these these planet killing monocultures that look from the air uh, you know I said this is not fucking rainforest uh, and then I said what I would also like to see is uh, is uh, a map of the rivers of Costa Rica showing uh, how many of, uh, of these uh, rivers in Costa Rica since 1987 have been dammed, uh, how many millions of acres of, of uh, riparian uh, virgin rainforest habitat has been flooded and obliterated off the face of the fucking planet over the uh, last 30 years so Costa Rica can continue this big fucking greenwashing bright green lie that fucking hydropower is some sort of renewable green clean energy uh, even book hermit weighing in today Talking about fucking hydropower being clean, green, sustainable, uh, renewable energy. You know, I'm the author of a book on Costa Rican uh, on Costa Rican waterfalls, and uh, so I have this book. It's called Pura Vida: The Waterfalls and Hot Springs of. I think I just ran over our trash can. Uh, 32 waterfalls. I don't know how many of those 32 waterfalls in my book, Puerto Vida. I wrote that book in 1992. How many of the 32 waterfalls uh, have been dammed into these fucking... Uh, hydroelectric projects. I know when I was down there that the uh, folks down there telling me enjoy this fucking waterfall while you still can gringo because uh, they're getting ready to dam this waterfall in this gorgeous canyon. But of course the U.S. has no right to fucking talk uh, about damming gorgeous canyons is look at Glen Canyon and whatever that canyon is uh, back behind uh, Hetch Hetchy Reservoir in California thing was supposed to be as beautiful as Yosemite Valley uh, Glen Canyon as pretty as the Grand Canyon the Snake River Canyon uh, being obliterated off of the face of this fucking planet uh, so humans can go about being fucking humans. Anyway, I have got to get out there and uh, 
get ready for the big weekend the big smoky rainy weekend here at the at bugs in a jar farm vacation rentals come see me and vacate while you still can I hope uh, that was based enough for you bye guys